In this lesson, I'm going to cover uploading course materials to your Moodle class. The first thing that I'd like to do is go ahead and turn editing on. And you will notice that on the left menu panel, you're going to see a list of icons over here. It starts up with general, topic, topic two. Basically, these are the sections that are currently available to us. And what I'd like to do is basically turn this into a navigation panel or a navigation menu that is easy for students to use in the future. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit section. I am going to customize the first one and I'm just going to call this home. So that way that students know that when they click on the link right here on the left, it'll say home and that'll take them to the course homepage. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you will notice that it's changed the first icon folder to home. The next thing that I want to list right over here is basically the syllabus for the course. And what we'll do here is a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to go to topic one and I will rename this syllabus. And then I'm going to click on enter. And as you refresh the page, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the browser. You will notice that syllabus is now listed right here on the left menu panel as a second item. And under the syllabus, I actually do want to attach a PDF of the syllabus for my course. So I'm going to click on add an activity or resource. We're going to add a file. We're going to name the syllabus. I'm going to leave the description blank because this is self-explanatory. And then I will take the syllabus PDF from my computer, from my desktop, and I will just drag it and drop it right here. And then I will save and display. And if I click on the home page and scroll down, you'll see that I've got a label called syllabus and then the actual attachment right over here. And I want to get rid of the check mark right over here. So we're going to click on edit settings. I'm going to scroll down. Activity completion, we are going to basically turn this off, do not indicate, and save and return to course, and now it's gone. If I were to turn off the editing right now, you'll notice that it's much cleaner right there. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to start building our course. And right here it says topic two, you can call this whatever you want to. I typically like to have one section for every week of my courses. So um, I will generally name this week one or week one and two if it's uh, a combined uh, course. Once we're done with the syllabus, what I typically like to do is I like to basically uh, ensure that I've got a section or a folder for every single week of the term that I'm teaching. And I typically teach either six week classes, eight week classes, or 16 week classes. Um, so typically I will name this week one or week one and two if it's a short semester. Uh, you can call this whatever you want to. And I've also seen uh, instructors or teachers labeling their sections based on the actual chapter that they're covering that particular week. So in my particular case, I'm just going to call this week one. So click on the pencil and type in week one. Enter. The first thing that I will list under week one will be the topic for week one that is going to be covered in the class. So I'm going to click on add an activity or resource and we are going to select a label. And what I'm going to include here is basically the title for the topic that will be covered. So it's going to be principles of accounting. And then underneath it, what I want to include here will be the learning objectives. So I'm going to go to a document that I had that contains that information and I will simply copy that information and I will paste it right here. And I don't want all of this in bold. So what we'll do is we will unbold this and I would like to add numbers right there, just like that. And perhaps I will italicize that right there. Okay. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and scroll down, save and return. Great, so we've got a section labeled week one, the title of the lesson, the learning outcomes, and we've already uploaded the syllabus for the course. The next thing that I'd like to add in this section is an attachment that has the lecture notes that I typically will share with students. And your lecture notes could be an outline or could be a copy of the PDF of the PowerPoint presentation that you will typically deliver through your lecture. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on add an activity or resource. And we are going to do another file. We're going to call this lecture notes. And I've got a sample lecture note outline right here. I'm going to drag it and drop it. Scroll to the bottom, save and return to course. Great. And let's go ahead and turn off editing to see what this looks like. There. We've got a syllabus, we've got a section labeled week one, and we've uploaded also the lecture notes. If we click on it, this is basically what it looks like. And we're gonna go back right there.